and welcome back to the traffic desk. Hello, my fellow gamers. Welcome, welcome back to the game here. Welcome back to LA Noir. Last time we did a slip of the tongue. Today we're talking about a fallen idol. Now, if you remember last episode, I was complaining that I had to re record these two. That one's not so bad. This one I'm furious with because this court mission's an hour long. Let's get to it. I do like the mission. Actually, I hate this mission. Everything about it. A lot of disturbing stuff will be seen. Note, if you are a trauma victim or a sexual assaulted victim, I would suggest not watching this one because it may trigger you. I'm being legitimate here. Hope all is well, though. They take us away with the fallen idol. Bukowski, you have a new case. Two women, possible drink drive. How is that a case? The broad says she was doped and that somebody tried to kill her. Where did this take place? That's the bitch you're gonna love. Right across the street. What? What? A Chevy Styline took a nosedive off the escarpment, fetched up underneath a Cola King billboard. Up to it, boys. We got bad guys to catch. I know I did do a little bit of spoiling, but I feel like in today's day and age, how common things are. With See you that. later, fellas. Try not to work too hard. Look at you bantering with the boy. Brings a tear to my eye watching my caterpillar grow worm. <laughs> I'm just trying to fit in. Well, good news is we do have to go across the street. So, like I said, I'm going to just walk all the way over here because it is literally right across the street. But, I did have to say that... Hill this... won't buy me something nice. Well, hey now. Um, so that's... It, it, it gets gruesome pretty quickly. That's the only reason why I had to throw that warning out there. But, I'm not showing you anything else or telling you anything spoiler warning. So, like I said, I just played this quest, but I'm going to play it very... Kind of like how I always act. So, that's your one spoiler. Cole, take it away. What kind of detective works at 7.51 in the morning? Her face looks familiar. Well, that's June Ballard. <laughs> Tarzan's sister, beast of the Amazon. She's married to Guy McAfee. The captain has moved to Vegas now, but the two of them still have juice. Phelps, traffic. Detective Phelps. Hey, Bukowski. Long time no see. You could have called this in by megaphone, Enrique. <laughs> Phelps, this is Enrique Gonzalez. Enrique was a pretty decent middleweight. What do we have, Gonzalez? Broad drives right through the empty lot and off the side of the escarpment. Her story is that a movie producer doped her and her friend and sent the car over the cliff. Was anyone hurt? Driver's beat up. Not too bad, considering if she hadn't hit that billboard, you'd be scraping both of them off the pavement. Passengers are Jessica Hamilton. It's just a kid. Pretty knocked around. Kid gonna be all right? I think so. They're taking her to Central Receiving. If you want to take a look around, just call the ambulance. Thanks. Do that. One more thing. Watch out for the driver. Cuts rough. Well, at least you're honest with me. All right. Uh, if you're looking for the coroner, he's down by the crash site. Well, thank you. Why is there a coroner? No one died. I don't know how accurate like drug tests were back in this day. That's one of my thoughts. So, uh, corner. You'll want to see this, Phelps. There, laid out on the trunk. And that isn't even the best part. Oh, here we go. They've been torn off. Where did you find them? They were stuffed in the young lady's handbag. I'll run a trace for semen when I get back to the lab. Uh, that's always disturbing to hear, but this was Hollywood. I'm not going to read this all to you, but we're talking about a letter from mom who wants to come home. She's a long way from home. But she's a little young to be far away from home. I haven't told you how old she is, and I'm, I'm going to let the game tell you in a minute. Hmm. Um, 
Drunk driver? Maybe not. How so? Well, a head I found without a body piqued my interest. See what you think. <laughs> Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him, Horatio. The coroner's got no sense of humor. No. I think it's supposed to be a replica of an Indian shrunken head. It's some kind of curio or movie prop. See the casting marks? That's fair. What's it made from? Plaster of Paris would be my first guess, then paint it. So we can rule out the murder angle? No, you can rule that in. That thing was wedging the accelerator to the floor. How? Whoever did it wanted these women dead. Hmm. How does someone manage to tip their ride straight off a cliff? If the driver's in a fit state, we should ask. We'll go talk to June. Actually, a lot of these characters are actually in real life people, too, that I have discovered recently. It's kind of interesting. Like, this girl's actually based off of a real wife of Guy McAfee. Mrs. McAfee, we would like to ask you a few questions, if that's okay. I prefer to use my maiden name, June Ballard. You might be familiar with some of my work. Can you tell us what happened here? You're kind of cute for a cop. Maybe a bit on the senior side. What about me, June? I'm a big fan of beast. I don't like. Right. Keep out of this. All right. Doping allegations. We understand serious. that you're still suffering from the effects of the accident, Mrs. McAfee. The officer says that you claim that you were drugged. Who did this to you? That rat slipped us a Mickey Finn. It's no wonder I feel so dopey. I can't remember. So, she's a very good actress. So, uh, just say she's lying all the time. It's a serious offense to withhold information from the police during a criminal investigation, madam. I told you to call me June. You're making me feel like an old lady. And don't bother your handsome head about this. My husband will settle the score with Mark Bishop. Theoretically, we could just end it here and let him take care of it. What can you tell us about the passenger in your car? Jessica Hamilton. Poor Jessica. It's been a rough day for her. She's desperate to break into movies. What more can I say? I did, like I said, she's a really good actress. You can't tell if she's lying or not. But we know she's lying. I think you're lying, Mrs. McAfee. I think something happened to Jessica yesterday before the crash. I'm offended, Sunshine. Do you have any proof? Well, her torn underwear says otherwise. Miss Hamilton's underwear were physically torn from her body. She wanted to go to a casting. I took her to a casting. Whatever happened after that is between her and Mark Bishop. We found a shrunken head that was used to tamper with your car. You see, I normally don't drive off cliffs. The last thing I remember is getting behind the wheel. It's obviously some kind of movie prop. You must know where it came from. In case you hadn't noticed, I am the talent. And the talent doesn't deal with Props or sets or any of that kind of stuff. Why don't you ask Mark Bishop which prop house he uses? You brought his name up several times. Let's talk about him. You mentioned a Mark Bishop. You think he might have had something to do with this? He is a movie producer. As for his involvement, you just leave it to me and my husband to worry about. I don't like that. I want to know what happened between you two that made him want to commit a double murder. Bishop offered me a part in his picture. Then he withdrew it. Fact is, we had a deal. I pressed him on it. And this is where I end up. Mrs. McAfee, I think it would be in everyone's best interest if you accompanied Patrolman Gonzalez back to the receiving hospital. I'm going to be okay. These guys can take me home after my lawyer and I have talked to the news house. Mrs. McAfee, you are still under the influence of narcotics. You're likely to go into shock once the drugs wear off. And I thought you were a heel. 
It's nice of you to be concerned. Grab the face. I think we're good here. Let's go see what we can shake out of the kid. All right. I'm going to meet you guys at the hospital. I'm going to skip ahead. The hospital's literally right beside the police station. Perfect. I've been 13 minutes according to the game. It's pretty accurate. Because according to this, it's been 10 minutes. Hello, Detective Phelps. Here to interview a Jessica Hamilton. Jessica Hamilton. Oh, yes. She's in the room right behind you, Detective. You sound too smug. I don't like You it. can't hold me here. No. I don't Feeling better need since to be this morning, Jessica. I need my little. lawyer. My head still feels Where funny. is the telephone? Do you know who I am? Okay, I want this. I didn't look at this first last time. Head trauma. Respiratory. Of chorea hydrate in the bloodstream. External bruising. Till general. Oh. Oh, I don't want to see that. No more sedatives, yeah. I don't know what that is right offhand. No, I want to talk to her. Hello, Jessica. Uh, my name is Cole Phelps. I'm a policeman. I'd like to talk to you about your accident, if that's okay. Um, okay. So, we'll talk about the incident report, shall we? Can you tell me what you remember about the crash? It's all kind of fuzzy. I remember waking up here. Nothing happened yesterday. N no? Tell the truth, Jessica. Why the big cover-up? I'm not lying to you. Well, let's go with our new evidence of abuse, shall we? I don't like saying that out loud. We found your underwear in your handbag, Jessica. You need to tell us what happened. The doctor told me what happened. I... I didn't want that. I just wanted to be a star, to be in movies. I told Junie what happened, and she told me to toughen up. But that was the price of stardom. Did she now, cold-hearted bitch? It's not Junie's fault. It's not my first time. I had a boyfriend back home, but... my father found out about him. Even if you consented, Jessica. You're still underage. And that's a problem. We need to get in touch with your parents, Jessica, to tell them what has happened. Oh, you don't need to worry then. They sent me along to stay with Aunt June. They trust her to take care of me. You're lying, Jessica. How are we going to make this right if you lie to us? Please, Detective, why would I lie to you? I mean, we've heard this one already today. Because you're a runaway, Jessica, and you don't have your parents' permission to be here. Now, do you want to tell me what really happened? I went with Junie to this strange place. It's difficult to remember. Someone gave me a drink to calm my nerves, and then I felt faint. I think I must have passed out. The uh, hydrochloride, or whatever it is, is actually a date rape drug. I just looked it up. I don't like this. There's a reason why I don't like this. She's only 15. How did you meet Mr. Bishop? Well, Junie is a big movie star. You probably know that. She's doing a new movie. But you're but she's really not. What's the story with Bishop and Mrs. McAfee? Why does he want the two of you dead? That can't be true. Mr. Bishop seemed very happy today. I mean, yesterday. And that's why he wedged a shrunken head against the accelerator pedal and punted the two of you over an escarpment? I overheard Junie speaking to him on the phone a couple of times. Screaming, really. She can be very hard sometimes, Junie. But they seemed okay yesterday, like they worked it out. Alright, last thing I want to talk about. I know what happened to you, Jessica. Where exactly did it take place? Please, it's scary really difficult to think of anything. For once, I believe you, so in case you missed it, accuse or law, accuse or law, doubt, bad cop, truth, good cop. Jessica, I really need you to help me here. I remember the mermaid. Was the mermaid in the movie too? No, it was on the front of a building. We pulled up in front of the mermaid. 
Thank you, Jessica. You've been a big help. Here's my card. If you think of anything or you need some help, just get in touch, okay? Okay. I think it might be a good idea if you went back home till you felt better, Jessica. I couldn't do that, officer. What if I got the part and I wasn't there? You're not getting the part. You were part of the casting couch. I hate saying that. It's the that. tale of this town, Cole. Lambs that go willingly to slaughter. Who the hell is that? Must be her lawyer. He certainly expedited her release. I don't like it, Cole. Why is she in such a hurry? We should follow her. Let's do that. I feel like you would get caught here. They would just look to the right immediately when they drive past. There she goes. Come on. The odds of you not... But... Alright. We're gonna tail her. Now, granted, we've done a lot of tailing in... Um... Assassin's Creed, the last one I guess. Ballard is definitely up to something. Ooh, that was close. My expert driving saved us there. She seems to have made a remarkably speedy recovery. We still see the we still see the green car. Oop. She's right in front. Oh crap, no, she's not. I thought you get the turn right here. Turn turn left. Rod, I may have screwed up. Oh no, we're fine. Tar up this nice little cafe. Get in there and see what she's up to. Okay. Alright. You do get an achievement for this if you do this successfully. And then you have this newspaper and just let her do the thing. I don't want him taught a lesson. You know what I want. What do you want? Well, then make someone else do it. You still know people out here, don't you? Then make some calls. I'm going to be very clear about this. You get this done, or I'm... Wilson's Hotel. Mr. Mark Bishop, that son of a bitch, lives in apartment 803. Okay. Sure, I got the film. That's important to you. Nice newspaper we got here. Alright, we can leave now. Now, we should get a new thing the second we get back in the car. So what's the story? I'm guessing she didn't stop to light refreshments. She made a call. Sounds like Mark Bishop has a now, heap of trouble. I'm driving for way. one reason. I've got an address. The last time we did this, I kind of didn't do an optional part. It doesn't oh, matter if I'm You better step on it. If he's got any sense, he'll be as far away from home as possible. If he had any sense, he wouldn't Luckily, have tried bumping off Guy McCaffrey's wife in the first place. Or he'd have done the job properly. McCaffrey will break a fella's legs just for looking at the frog the wrong way. What did you make of the kid? Did you believe her story? I think she was doped out of her tiny mind and given the casting couch. That fucking bitch Ballard sold her out. So if Ballard I have was no doing idea how bad favor, it's gonna be. Why did they try to kill her? Probably really bad. That was really cool though. I think you have a lot of relay in this place. All units in the vicinity and call 11K, 11 K, eleven King, a four fifteen in progress at apartment D O three oh, Wilson's apartment hotel, twelve twenty West Seventh Street, Westlake Park. There it eleven is. K code three. All other units go two. KGPL clear. So like I said, gun it. Let's get to the apartment before someone gets hurt. That's very bad. Slow down. I may have I may have screwed that up. 
We'll find out if I can redo this quest yet a third time. The whole way through. Hopefully not. Dang, how far away is this way? Okay, there it is. Alright, we made it. I don't know if we're going to make it in time, though. I'm hoping I did it right, because I have I failed to do it. You the cops? I tried to stop them. It's it's room 803, uh -oh. left side of the elevator. Sounds like we're about to make it a hat trick of hysterical female witnesses. I'm hoping, like I said, I don't cause enough damage to people. Uh and it's this. No. Give it up, LAPD. I'm about to break your goddamn. <gasps> All right, we're gonna knock some sense to these fools. Ooh, there's some blood. Ooh, you knocked my hat off, sir. And your children. <laughs> Ooh. Dang, this guy took Wrecked. You know what I, I feel good about beating those guys up. I see more people I don't want to worry about. I just hope that I didn't cause too much damage. It always concerns me. Are you injured, Mrs. Bishop? I'm all right now. Those horrible, awful men. Perhaps you should sit down, ma'am. Yes. Yes. Forgive me, officers. I'm very flushed. I'll just sit down for a moment. That's perfectly normal, ma'am. Take a moment while we look around. Yes. Thank you. Those boy, I want my hat back. Look at this mess. Alright, so we have some clues to find. First thing is this check. 20 grand is pretty large. That's like. What do you have to do to earn 20,000? A couple hundred grand nowadays. Maybe even a million. I don't. I wish I knew inflation that well. Presented to Mark. Not Mark. Wait, no, I'm not. Amanda. All right, so we have three other things to look for. We have this Looks like the old movie set downtown. Which is we will see. Again, here it is. Great Wall of Babylon. A replica of a replica. And then our last one is over here. With our two favorite stooges. Looks like we found our mermaid. Who are these men in the picture? My husband, Mark. And Marlon Hopgood. They work together on occasion. That's Hopgood's job. And there's the replica. There's the set. Hollywood's own little piece of Babylon. All right, let's talk, lady. Domestic disturbance. Those men. I think they work for Guy McAfee. Do you know the name? No. Why should I? June Ballard is married to Guy McAfee. Have you heard of her? That slut. She's been badgering my husband for days. Mrs. McAfee alleges that your husband tried to kill her and her friend last night. I think you should tell us what you know. My husband's a movie producer. This has something to do with his new picture. He doesn't include me in his business. No, I think he does, actually. June Ballard said she had a deal to be in his new picture. Mark repeatedly told her no. He had Joan Leslie lined up for the role. That's how he got the finance. June made all kinds of threats. She was very rude to me. You know June Ballard? We were both on the same picture a few years back. That's how I met my husband. I got a bad feeling how this is going to go. Oh, wait, I've done this already. Quick note, 20 grand and 47 equal to 234,000 today's money. That's pretty insane. Where can we find your husband, ma'am? He told me he would be on set. That's all I know. You know, I believe that. Either we find him, or McAfee's people do, Mrs. Bishop. 
you care for him, you should make sure that we find him first. I do care for him. But I don't really know where he'd go if he were in trouble. Hopgood might know. Okay, where is Hopgood? 20 grand. Why is your husband paying Lorna Hopgood $20,000? Lorna? Marlon's ex-wife? Are you sure? I mean, I am. Now, here's what's cool about this. You have two options. But we're going to be the honest option, which is we're going to accuse her. You're lying, Mrs. Bishop. It's some kind of payoff. You know exactly what the money is for and who it's getting paid to. Do I? Would you like to prove that, detective? Well, we have the check here to Lorna Hopgood, which I didn't realize I missed the ex-wife last time, but... Your husband looks like he's being blackmailed. They obviously have something on him if he's prepared to kill to cover it up. Why is the payment going to Hopgood and not McAfee? Lorna works at a check cashing place in Hollywood. You need to ask Hopgood why he needs that much money in cash. Okay, I'll well, just start with that. Now... Uh... Your husband was at a casting yesterday with a young girl? Not that I know of. He told me he was looking at locations. The picture's been cast. Nah. Jessica remembered a mermaid. The mermaid on the front of the prop store. You better come clean with me. This is a sick town, detective. Are you sure you really want to know? The truth is, my husband likes them young. Hmm. And you think that's okay? I was 16 when I first met him. I thought he was a genius. A magician with film. I was 20 before I realized he was just a B-movie hack. But he's nothing compared to some of the monsters at these big studios. My guess is, Ballard sacrificed her little friend. Happens to a lot of girls. God, I hate, I hate discussion. Your husband is in trouble. It could go easier for him if you were more helpful, Mrs. Bishop. He's a big boy, detective, and so are you. This is Hollywood. There's always a deal to be done. Oh yeah, I need to make calls to people. That's important too. Uh, phones where? Right here? Operator, give me dispatch. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How can I help, detective? I need a location on a silver screen prop store. Just a moment. Silver screen props, corner third and Figueroa. Thank you. Now, I don't know if you remember this. In the beginning of the game, we did that first cutscene. Um, I believe... Jungle Jones is actually the film that was listed. An aging movie star, a wannabe starlet, a movie producer's wife. We're finally rubbing shoulders with the almost fictional famous. And from the stories they've given us, clearly none of them can act. Check back for sure. Uh, let's see. I did this last time. It's this way. No. What are you doing? All right. Hoping we're okay. Pulaski, you know the way. You can drive. Pops. All right. Where to? Where are you? Oops. Mrs. Bishop knows more than she's letting on. She doesn't seem to realize how much trouble her husband is in. The LAPD are the least of their worries right now. Yeah. You'd think she'd have gotten the hint after those hatchet men redecorated her apartment. Maybe she's just loyal. Or she's in on it. She didn't seem like your average giddy broad with nothing between the ears. Or she might just be trying to buy enough time for Bishop to put a couple of oceans between him and McAfee. That's what I would do. 